little better. I don't know. I really don't know. Hello, sleepy hands. <laughs> Dom Jr. under Annie. And that head over there, it's one of Annie's girls. That's the other one. This one. Then that's the other one. That's Gaia with both of her kids. And Mocha just got out. But she's over there with Ava. And that's Clarita. I don't know what's up with her. That's actually what I came down to check on. She's been a little sad and um, hunched. This morning, she was barely opening her eyes. I have all the kids trying to eat me over here. Ay. Clara's boy. Mocha's girl. Captain America. Uncle Toad. Earlier today, I took her inside. And I gave her some milk. But I don't know, she closes her eyes. She's a little hunched and her back, she's like, I don't know. It could be that maybe she ate um, too much grain or I don't know. But all she wants is scratch. This is what she wants. Somebody rubbing her back. Look at her face. She's like, yes. Thank you. I'm going to check her temperature. Just to make sure that she's okay. She's hungry. She's trying to eat from Clara. Uh, as they are getting older, the moms are really not as patient with them and she is over there not wanting to feed them and of course it's nap time too so maybe that's you're a cute boy <clears throat> and over there is a theme she is um looking inside and seeing what the cat is doing And let me tell you, nap time is serious business around here. It really is. Everyone gets together so they can take a nap. This weather, yesterday it was sunny and it was nice and it was actually kind of hot. The goats were sitting here on the patio and they were kind of hot but still wanting to be in the sun and today it's probably 51 right now it's like probably a 20 degree difference from one day to the next and I feel it kind of messes their um, excuse you, Captain America, would you stop doing that to your brother? Goodness gracious, you too. So, I don't know. Sometimes I feel like this 
there's one storm after the next coming in the next 10 days so it could be the you know pressure would you stop eating her ears Athene don't let him do that to you you're a woman you say something you say go away little boy I'm a lady oh, you're so cute <laughs> look at the righteous face of yours <laughs> she's doing all the things <laughs> there's a big baby there there's a big part of one baby there Hopefully it's not one big baby. Um, but you're so self-righteous, I swear. You make those faces like I'm so pretty. I'm gonna look at Clarita. It's almost like they're they're taking turns in keeping me worried about her all day. And she's being like this. I don't see her eating hay. I did bring a few branches, tree branches, and she was trying to eat a little bit. But she is not, this, this is not her normal self. And it breaks my heart because she is so sweet. I'm so sorry, sweet girl. What is happening? I wish you could tell me what's wrong. I wish you could say, my belly aches. Now I share with you guys the GOAT basic assessment. Uh, some of the things that you need to check when you're trying to assess if you have a sick GOAT. So that's what I'm going to do with her, but look at her. really don't know she has no diarrhea she has she, it's almost like she's extremely tired so I'm gonna check her temp and figure out usually if the temp is um, high it means it has a, she probably has some kind of infection which it would be extremely rare really don't know what to do with her I guess after I take her temperature and figure out if it's low or high I can make a decision if she has a low temp it would be better to keep her inside warm her up and keep her inside give her bottles and try to keep her inside but, but this squinting Clarita is not normal I don't understand really what else could be wrong. Usually, by the time they're eating, they will be eating all kinds of things. Sometimes they like to eat poop. That's a very normal thing. But I don't know. I really don't know. Look at her. Move, you know? But look at her. I wanted to come and spend some time with her before dinner time. <laughs> Look at Carrot. He's waiting for the goats to come and bully him. I don't know. Let's check her temperature and see. What I usually do is... I have some alcohol here. I'll put it in a cotton ball. Make sure I wipe the thermometer. And I always have a mark that's as far as it needs to go in. For babies, I don't go all the way in like that. Because they're just tiny babies. But let me check her temp and I'll show you. I've kind of um, examined her. Um, Maybe she did have the runs after I examine her. She does have a little bit of 
uh, traces of diarrhea. She does have a normal temperature, despite the fact that she's shaking. I think she's shaking because she doesn't feel well. And, I mean, you can kind of see it, the sides of the tail. You can you see that? That looks like a little bit of diarrhea. And that too, like it got kind of stuck. When I check her temperature, I also checked that there wasn't any kind of obstruction. So that was something that I really wanted to make sure she didn't have. Sometimes, you know, when they're really little, when they poop, the moms will lick off the poop and clean their booties. And um, that sounds gross, but that's the way it is. Now, when they're getting older and they're doing berries, they really don't need that. But once they are um, having some kind of diarrhea, then yeah, then that's... I think that what might have happened is that she ate too much grain. Yesterday, she was the first one here for dinner, which means that I bring the moms in. Clara's like, yeah, but you're not giving me more dinner. I bring the moms in, and I let the babies nurse for as long as they want. And once they start to wander or want to eat mom's grain, I put them into their night stall. And she was the first one to go into the night stall. And by the time she got there, the big bowl of grain that I put for everyone so they can all gather around it, it was, um, you know, it had the food for everyone. So she might have had a lot and I just didn't see it. So she could have had a really bad night as far as as far as having stomachache or probably di just the diarrhea um, later on the day. But again, I, at some point she had diarrhea today. Maybe she had last night, but it didn't stick. You know, the more the, the, the more days that they have diarrhea, the more that you will see a poopy butt. That's what I call a poopy butt. And that is something that you should know. It's also a red flag. Like, if you're going to pick up your baby goat and they have or a stain as if they had, that means they probably had diarrhea for a long time. And I'm saying days, maybe even weeks. And um, that's really bad for them. They get dehydrated very easily. And I think that's what's up with with Clarita. I think she was very dehydrated because Clara is, believe it or not, she's kind of weaning, not really, but she's, she's not being as patient with them. And as, you know, they're approaching the eight weeks, uh, it kind of makes sense that she is not being as willing to feed them whenever they want. It might be just the beginning of something that she's going to go through. Hopefully not. I've really taken upon myself to make sure that this baby's nurse, like, no, any, I mean, like, none of the babies we've ever had before. Um... I mean, I've been talking to you for 5 minutes and 29 seconds at this point on this clip and she's still drinking. And if you know anything about moms and baby goats is mom will feed them for a few seconds and then walk away from a few more seconds then walk away and that's kind of the pattern for them. And having her drinking milk for 5 minutes straight uh, going from one side to the other, that's why I didn't bring any of her siblings. Um, that means that she is getting a lot of milk. As soon as she's 100% full, um, she will walk towards where Clara is, hoping that she can get some grain. That's what the babies do. That's how they tell me that they're full. Now, Clarita hasn't really, I mean, she didn't want grain today. She didn't want alfalfa pellets either. She, 
hasn't been eating a lot of hay. It's almost like she knows that what she needs is mom's milk and stay hydrated. So I really don't think that she has uh, coccidiosis or anything like that, but it could be, and this could be just the beginning of it. Um, she just, now she's full. And yeah, that's how I know that Clara did her job and that, you know, and right now it's been seven minutes. So she was nursing for seven minutes straight. And um, she's ready, but she wasn't too interested. Oh, maybe she is. She's like, oh, that's where my grain is. Where's the grain, Grammy? You're not supposed to eat any grain until you're a big woman. Yes. She's like, what? What do you mean? Don't say that, Grammy. I'm gonna drink more milk if there's no grain. So, if you uh, had any experience uh, with a baby that acted similar to her and you want to share your experience or you give me your opinion, any ideas, any thoughts, that would be really nice. Today is Saturday. Um, what date is it? Today's the 15th. And I plan to upload this video on Monday. Um, I had another one I was going to do, but, you know, it's kind of, I'm going to go in real time to, I don't know, just try to see. Hopefully she'll be all better by tomorrow. And then the next video you see, she, you know, I'll be telling you that she's back to normal. But what I can tell you right now is that when they are hunched up, like this as they're standing she's right now because she's drinking milk but uh as they're standing they're usually in pain they have a stomach ache or you know something it's hurting them so we'll see what it is i'll keep you updated probably in tomorrow's video i'm gonna do another vlog tomorrow uh, i guess we will figure that out so say, I'll see you tomorrow, Clarita. She knows her name. Say, have a good night. Hopefully I'll report back tomorrow and tell you that I'm feeling all better. Is that what you want? Oh, good night.